This is Quinky's sign, visible pulsations of the nail bed. It's one of the many signs of aortic regurgitation. You'll never forget it by remembering we have five fingers. Quin, like quintuplet, means five. So just remember that this is the finger sign of aortic regurgitation. But mnemonics mean nothing if you don't understand it. Aortic regurgitation is simply when the valve doesn't do its job properly. Blood leaks backwards from the aorta, past the aortic valve into the left ventricle. There's lots of reasons why, but just think of the valve as a door and the annulus and supporting structures as a door frame. By the way, if you want to master your OSCEs and your Vibers, you may be interested in my guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Comment OSCE for some free pages. When blood leaks back into the left ventricle, it causes more stretch. So it has a higher preload. If you recall Frank Starling's Law of the Heart, you'll know that that blood is now going to be pumped out harder. Think of it like a slingshot. The blood pumps out hard, but then leaks back backwards again during diastole. And that's what causes all of these signs. There's 13 eponymous syndromes in aortic regurgitation. How does this sign occur? That bigger volume is forced out through the arterial tree, where it reaches the small arterioles in the fingers. In diastole, some of that blood leaks backwards, creating this visible rhythm of flushing and paling of the nail bed. It happens in time with every heartbeat. And now you know. But to lock it in, you need to test your active recall. So let me know in the comments below, and I've got more memory hacks for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.